Good morning, everybody. This morning, we're headed over to Wyndham, New Hampshire to take care of a kitchen sink drain. Wish us luck, stay tuned, and I hope to see you at the end. Thanks. Hi. Oh. <laughs> she's completely harmless. Oh, she's fine. We love dogs. All right, let's take a peek. Okay. So, it will be it, it drained real slow. Okay. After filling up a bit. Okay. Um. So, there's a good clean out. Oh, is there? Good. It's a beautiful clean out. I love clean outs. Look at that. I'm sorry, I would have prepped this for it. Oh no, you're fine. I can pull all that stuff okay, out, honey. Cool. So, so you, you guys go. just moved in? Yeah, so um, we've owned it since 1986, but I just did a full reno. There was a rag blocking that for probably six or seven months. Okay. Oh, maybe even a year, actually. It's probably closer to a year. Maybe okay. Maybe more. Um, but that rag was removed. Okay. So who knows? And that's a bathroom. That is a bathroom. Basement? Basement's down there, yeah. Can you see all the plumbing or is it finished? Um, everything's finished. Okay, so I yep. can't see the plumbing, but that's a bathroom. Yep. All right, they so it's not going to be a long run anyways. I We like to gauge footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. They, yeah, so the, that, do boom. Yep. Straight down. Um, I can bring it down there. We'll sure. see some of what we need to see. Okay. Yeah, if you can show me right where the, um, the main drain is, that'd be perfect. It's coming that way. Okay. Oh, or maybe that's it. Yeah, know. it looks like because yeah, that other side yeah, looks like a toilet flange. Yeah. So. Yeah. So that's. So this one right here, that goes up to the second floor. To the second floor bathroom. Yep, that one does. Okay. So this handles everybody else. Okay. Yep. So that's all new install. Can I squeeze by? You can. Because I'm, I'm tiny. I can fit. Yeah, you are there. tiny. Lucky you. <laughs> Eat whatever you want. Actually, I don't. You well, do have that's... a two inch line over here. I I eat not the clean keto, but I eat keto. Oh, I see. So you do have a two inch line tying into this part here. Yeah. Um, just behind your furnace. Yeah, that's the flange and that oh that's that could the, be the sink. Yeah, that's the sink bath. Yep, yeah, that's, that's the bath sink. sink. Yeah. All right, so yeah, that inch and a half is going to be the uh, kitchen sink, but either way, it's not that far. That's all I needed to see. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Hey, hey. hey. Stop it. I'm... She's excited to see people. <sighs> all right, so I'm going to go out and get some stuff and keep your cabinet and your floors protected. Okay. So I'm going to grab a drop cloth and empty out under the cabinet for you. Let's get you in the cabinet. I'll be right back. You looking for? Should be in the side cabinet. Right here. It was the two inch that we put on the other side. Just looking for the blue tape.
I'm back. Okay, why do you do that? <sighs> he tapes and dopes. Yeah, you heard me. I asked you why you did it. Drives me nuts. Okay, I said righty tighty lefty loosening myself before I uh, undid the clean out cap. Okay, I'm gonna throw these in here. I'm gonna start running. the foot pedal. You got toilet flange here, you're gonna go just past the flange, and that's where it connects to the main. Yeah, it's gonna take me a second to get there. right where it ties in. I magically changed into a large man. I that's what I was wondering. <laughs> sitting down, I was like, that's not the person I left here. I didn't know how your dog did with... That's she, why I... She, so, we come from a very big house. Yeah. We have a lot of land for her to um, be outside quite a bit. And now she's here. And it's, it's a different, like anybody yeah. Anybody comes in the house, and she's very protective, she's very territorial in terms of, she's a good guard dog. Right. You know, not an attack dog, guard dog. Yeah. yeah. So if a leaf falls on the lawn somewhere, she'll let us know. Oh, that, well, that's good. Right. So I got this, I got hit with Bell's Palsy like three weeks ago. Oh. So I'm usually much better looking. Oh. Did you get a did you get a a shot or anything? No, what, they, what? no, no. It just so it was stressed. So 
So what happens is, um, if you've had chicken pox and all this, yep, so chicken I have. pox and all that kind of stuff is actually a variant of a herpes virus. Yep. Not that you have herpes. Right. Yeah. No, I know what you're saying. Yep. So in that virus lays dormant um, in you, in your immune system, holds it down throughout the course of your life. Right. Right. Your immune system does that all the time. You got a whole bunch of dormant viruses right. and bacteria in you. And it's it, like when shingles happens because exactly. I, I had shingles after thing. I had chicken pox. Same thing. Right? Yep. It, exactly. It's all the same. Uh, same strain of vi well, same virus, different strains. Right. So when your immune system takes a break. Yep because of stress, right? You don't eat right, you don't exercise, you don't drink enough water, all of those kinds of things. Your immune system is a little weakened and then the cranial nerve or the seventh cranial nerve that comes up and goes through this little bony passage yep. that controls your expression in your face, the facial muscles. The virus hits that and when the sheet around the nerve gets inflamed and then it swells and because it's in this narrow bony passage and the bone is is very rigid, yep. the sheet pinches down on the nerve and that's what causes the... So your nerves can't, won't function properly in your face? Won't function properly until the swelling goes down. Okay. The problem is, is that some people, the nerve ends up becoming permanently damaged and they don't recover. They oh. don't get back. But that's not me because I got oh, good. my full smile back. Good. My, mo my mom actually got it as a reaction to a, a vaccine that yeah, she got. Yeah, a lot of people got it as a reaction to the COVID vaccine. Oh, I got worse than that. Did you? Yeah. Oh, really? It was, yeah. It wasn't... It wasn't pretty? No. I'm, I'm a pretty healthy person, and my health, right after I got it, I was... It was, it was bad. Yeah, right. Because so. you're usually healthy, so anything, right, feels like you got hit by a ton of bricks. Right. So when I got it and then it was just, it was just bad. I didn't want to do anything. I wanted to sleep and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't yeah, function. It's demoralizing. Too. And then you have, you have two kids that depend on you and a husband oh. that depends. So it's like, I can't be down. So you just have right. to push through. Well, you women are resilient like that though. You tolerate more pain, you tolerate more sickness than men. We're all a bunch of wimps, <laughs> Com comparatively. I, I, I didn't say it. Uh, no, but no, I'm calling like I see it. Like, you know, a man gets a sniffle and it's like, oh! A woman's like, yeah, must have grew. I had a kid. Right? I I always I always tell my girls that. I'm like, if I can have two kids, I can deal with a lot of pain. Right. You're so tiny. How big was your largest baby? My largest was eight pounds. Oh, that's pretty big for you. Yeah, and she was, um, I had both of them full natural. Oh! No epidural. Really? Yep. Oh, you're a tough little bitch, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I, I get that a lot, too. Yeah, it's, um, I had them both. Yeah, I say that affectionately. I didn't mean it. Oh, no, I, I've been called worse, trust me. Um, it's, it's, um, it's kind of different when you feel it, you know, and... Yeah, it's more like it's, you lived it, right? Right, like and you're fully connected they always to it. say that you forget that pain. You don't ever forget mm. that pain. Yeah. You feel it, you know your body's changing. Yeah, um, it's good though, right? It's a full it's, experience. It though, is, right? and I, I was just talking to Bob about it earlier. It's one of those things where you feel like it's... You're, you're accomplishing a life, you know yeah. what I mean? Like. It's almost like your first time baking a loaf of bread or making a pie, that excitement that you right. get. It's just now you right, have right, it. Right, but it's, this is all you, man. Right. right. This is all you connected to the rest of the humanity. Right. The whole thing. you got to embrace that because that, all of this is just construct. This right. is what's real. All of this is fictitious. Exactly. So, and that's, you know, and that's what I, what I try to portray to my kids and things like that is that, like it's it, it feels like an accomplishment when you can build on something like that mm -hmm. and then and then train your brain so i used to be afraid of needles terrified of needles yeah. and then when i got pregnant with my first one i kept saying to myself it's not for you anymore mm -hmm. it's not for you uh, you're not uh, doing it for you and it got me over the uh, fear because i wasn't doing it for myself uh, so you're smarty pants too 
I had to figure out how to overcome the obstacle of being scared. And then It's good. Turn that around, turn that to strength. Right. And that's what I tell my kids, because they're like, oh, I can't pick this up. I have two girls. I have an 11-year-old, I have a 15-year-old. I can't lift it. You're not going to build muscle if you don't try. Okay. It's going to be sore. You're going to get in pain, mom. but... <laughs> so we're test we're, I'm going to test out the drain, because we're pretty much done. Oh, okay. We're going to test it out and see how well it drains and make sure you have no leaks down yeah. here. All right. I'll go from there. So I, I, I don't know if he heard me or I didn't hear the answer. Um, so when you do, when he's snaking it like that, do you yep. feel obstruction or can you... Um, sometimes you can. You can feel like, feel like a sludge build up or um, I'm glad you guys don't have a garbage disposal because on a garbage disposal you usually get a lot of that yeah. build up. Um, so let's check this off and then I'll pull that. Check well that's that. faster. And no drip. Yep. Well, there you go. Let's see. So that's kind of what I'm trying to instill in my kids. My dad taught me that, though. He was a Marine from the Vietnam uh -huh. era. So he was very kind of drill sergeant-y, but in a good way. Yeah. Like, he made sure that I'm always aware of my surroundings, what's going on yeah, around me. Yeah, that's Marine for you. So... That and I was his only girl, so he obviously didn't want anything bad to happen. All right, I'll bring this out and I'll be right back in. All right. And we can... I think that solved the problem. I think it did too. All righty, everybody, that did it for that one. You guys got to see Bob this time. That was great. All righty, hope you enjoyed the conversation. Do us a favor, help out the channel, free of cost to you. Just check out that affiliate link down below for Amazon. Like, sh share, comment, subscribe, you know, all the fun stuff. And as always, remember, be amazing.